Hi folks and welcome to another episode. I'm sitting in the back of our oldest MG5 work van, uh, fully electric. Uh, this is two years old now, it's just gone over 100,000 miles and I want to take you around it, show you how the traction battery is getting on, how the brakes are getting on and, and just if we think we've got value for money from buying these because we've got four of them now so let's go. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Okay folks, you've probably all seen under here before. Here is the front. Uh, this is where everything is stored. Nothing has changed, absolutely nothing. Uh, our parts are still in there, same 12 volt battery. The coolant hasn't gone down. We top up the screen wash, your brake fluid's okay. It's just a bit dirty, as you would expect. Take it around to the driver's side. One thing I have noticed in driving this, because I never drive this vehicle except to do these reviews, the steering wheel feels a bit more shiny on this one than on mine. I don't know why that is. Um, it is a little bit dirty. It's a hard working vehicle. I'll just show you the mileage there if I can just creep it on the dash. It's reading 100,576. Again, it's been used with seat covers. Um, Smithy, the guy who drives this, has a bad back, so he uses this thing here, which is um, not very comfortable for me. Um, but the seats are wearing fine. Um, you'd expect that though, because they're under seat covers. I have seen some people complaining about the seat swabs uh, splitting. It tends to be taxi drivers, um, but we've not had any problems there. Um, all the switch gear is still working okay. Everything's doing as it should. So happy with that. Again, the racking, I mean, it's full, it's, uh, it's, it's perfect. The, the, the racking here, I keep saying this, but the guys who did this have done a really, really very good job. Um, no rattles, no rumbles, nothing's come loose. So yeah, really, really happy with that. Uh, and it's pretty much as it was when it was put in. Let's just touch on the tires. So this is on its second set of tires now. Um, so obviously it came with its, its originals, the 205 60 16s. These are Devante, which you can see just there. You actually get a warranty with these uh, for accidental damage. So if you were to curb it and you had, um, say, five mil remaining on the tire, they'd give you five mils worth of money off a replacement. So if it was brand new, you would get a brand new replacement. If it had got one mil on it, you're not going to get anything. That's, that's the way it works. Um, the first set went to just under 50 on this one um, and the second set went on this set went on at 90 i think it went on at 98,000. it was there thereabouts so second set so these all take it round to about 100 and, i'm gonna say 145 ish um which we're really happy with and we rotate these at 30,000 miles okay so into the back uh again racking as it was when we first had it converted everything doing what it's meant to be doing um, and the vehicle goes everywhere completely loaded like this so it's got um, discs and pads and bits and bobs in the front and then tooling um, pollen filters uh, camber arms and all the other bits and bobs that we might replace and then diagnostic kit and stuff as well so yeah that's all doing really well side view that's where his jack lives you can see there it's uh it's got a few scratches on this bit of trim here where it's been heaved in and out but that seal surprisingly is still not broken because i i hoyed it out and uh, and i caught that seal but um yeah i thought that would have gone by now but we can get a new door seal on there and uh, if we sell it on we'll we'll probably replace this bit of trim uh yeah so all looking good in there as well let's come around to the front here so this has been sat for a few days now so um it's got a little bit of just flash corrosion on there but that will come off as soon as we get down the road so we have been around uh, the wheel arches checked all the bottom uh, bottom arms rear bushes there no leaks off the drive motor CV gaiters are all good everything's looking groovy no play in the bottom ball joint but the big one and this is the big one this is the one that we always hear about uh, electric vehicles and brakes so just there is a brand new pad versus the old pad. So the pad at the bottom there is done 100,500 100, miles. The one at the top is fresh out of the box. 
and it's going to go back in the box probably for another 100,000 miles because there is literally nowhere between those. I genuinely think that if I was to fit these pads, I wouldn't have to retract the piston on the caliper. That's how little wear there is. So I'll just show you that one there. That one I'll put back in place. And if I put the other original back, in, oh, that's the new one. If I put the other original back in, there you go. 100,000 miles just there, folks. Nothing wrong with those. So when you hear all this uh, oh, brake particulates and all that, yeah, you can, uh, you can ignore it. Okay, so I've got uh, a piece of equipment plugged in at the minute. Um, it's plugged into the EOBD socket um, and it's downloading the information from the BMS. Um, and then that gets sent to somewhere on the cloud. Um, it gets looked at and then it gets sent back to us with a uh, battery state of health. But I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna overlay it. This is tracking exactly the same degradation as what Tesla specifies. So they're saying 12% uh, over 200,000 miles. And that is exactly what this car is doing. So that is not bad for a vehicle that's done 200,000 miles. However, we're not there yet. So something I'm continually told is running a vehicle over high mileage over a short amount of time isn't the same as running a vehicle over high mileage over an extended amount of time. And to a degree, that's correct. There are things on the car which deteriorate over time. Uh, wiper blades, tires, you might see tires cracking because they're old and not worn out. CV gaiters, rubbery type things, especially bushes and things like that. Um, so yeah, there's an element of truth in that. However, there's also the other side of it where actually there are components on this vehicle which have done a hundred thousand miles more than and regardless of whether they did that over 10 years or whether they've done that over two years it would make no difference and let me tell you a few of those the traction battery so the throughput of the battery is exactly the same regardless of whether it was done over two years or whether it was done over 10 years it's the same you need the same amount of energy in and out in the same way that you would need the same amount of fuel through a fuel tank for an internal combustion car so that's that's just not up for debate um the onboard charger so there's a bit of variation there you may charge more at home or you may charge more on public charging but that's done a whole lot of charging to get this car topped up to do 100,000 miles. The drive shafts, they've done a whole lot of turning, regardless of whether they do it over 10 years or two years, no difference. The motor, the reduction gearbox, the differential, the inverter, all the other bits and bobs. So regardless of which way you look at this, this mileage of 100,000 miles in two years is consistent with 14 years of average use for normal Joe Public. So it's done very, very well. Okay, so folks, are we happy? Yes, we are very, very happy. Traction battery is holding up really well. Everything's working as it should. No servicing. Cheapest chips to run, 1.8p per mile if you're charging at home on Octopus Intelligent, 7.5 pence per kilowatt hour. Would we buy another one? Yes, absolutely we would. However, I am solely tempted by one of those because they're coming down in price, really good space, Tesla charging network. Tesla charging network is actually half the price of most of the other networks. So something to bear in mind. But yeah, it's been brilliant. We're really, really completely blown away by it is the only way I can describe it. Just a quick one. Ford Focus Diesel would have had 10 services in that time. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this has given you a little bit of confidence in um, EVs in general and buying a used EV. But honestly, fantastic bit of kit. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time in another episode. So bye for now.